Good morning, everybody. I'm going to do a quick update of my wax collection for you today. Um, I finished most of my 2019 wax. And you may remember from a previous video that I had a lot of clamshells from Walmart. I had a lot of bags from multiple vendors. Um, I had a lot of clamshells from multiple vendors as well. And, you know, I was so excited when I got all of that, but staring at those rows and rows of clamshells and all those bags, I just found it discouraging. So I kind of went on a mission to melt through all of that, and I have. So I'm feeling pretty good about it. Last year I went on a band from... August 3rd until about February 3rd and then the floodgates open and I, I have ordered a good bit this year in 2020 but my goal is to relax a bit and not try and melt so fast and enjoy what I have because I have a lot of beautiful wax so but I think it's a little more manageable right now and my orders while plentiful lately have been smaller orders so it isn't accumulating so fast so without further ado um, I'm going to show you what I have now. So I'm going to swing this around. So first of all, let me show you. Um, I have two of these three-drawer Sterilite units. I used to have four of these. So I have half the quantity that I used to have. Um, and I do have a bit more than this uh, for holiday wax and um, samples. I will show you that also. So let me go into these drawers. So... First of all, in the top drawer here, we have, um, this is K's Scented Melts, so a number of scent shots, and I really enjoy her wax. The center one is Dessa's. I got a sampler from Dessa, and then I have a very small amount of Bathing Garden, some clams, and a few shapes. This is Old Primitive Treasures in One Scent, which is, um, it was a custom made by my friend Mag, who is my welcome wreath on Etsy, Beautiful Wreaths. And her version of that was called Peace in the Grass. And it's spiced pear, um, fresh cut grass, and vanilla buttercream. Gorgeous. Um, Old Primitive Treasures renamed that Good Vibes. But anyway, I got two bags of that because I love it. Closet full of wax. Um, my two standbys, which is Carnival by the Sea and Butterscotch Coke Float. I buy those every year. Up here, this is Wicked Wax Studio, and I'm letting those cure. I haven't melted any of that yet. Here we have the new customer sampler from Destination Wax, and I do have some lavender owls on the way and also the herb garden sampler, so I might do a little bit of rearranging. So that's the top drawer. It's a multiple vendors. Middle drawer, and some I have room here, but there is there is a little more coming. This is Ava's, so all my Ava's, which is beautiful, beautiful wax. I enjoy her so much. Two of the snap bars, but I think that's you know not a huge amount. And then up here I have two from Candles from the Keeping Room, which is um, Beechwood Vetiver and a berry scent. Back here is Empire Alchemy, and I do have three more waffle pears coming. And this is Rainbow Melts, and I have a uh, mystery bag, 20 ounces coming. So there's room for that. Um, I love these little Twix bar um, sticks from Rainbow Melts, and I'm really getting good throw from her. That's excellent wax. So that's that. And then the bottom drawer, I have some loaves. So in the back, there are three loaves from Vintage Road Candles. So I have baked apple pie lavender peppermint shaving cream and driftwood three of my favorite scents and i am letting those cure just a little bit but they should be ready soon i have a bag of banana butter no what is that banana bubble gum and then um, a scoop of vintage road mint to be a scoop from l3 waxy wonders and um, hot cocoa vanilla cookies and cake and two more loaves from l3 here which is Amber Noir Bamboo and Palo Santo Bonfire Buttermint. I love L3. Now, both of these vendors, so Vintage Road and L3, last year I went insane. I had so much of those, and I love those vendors. And this year I got loaves of things that I really enjoy, and I'm going to try and pull back a little bit and enjoy um, a couple of the other vendors that I'm also enjoying. So spread the love around. This is a new um, vendor to me, Small Batch Wax. And I got Grape Satsuma and a couple others, and those are curing. So I can't comment on that. I don't know 
how they will be. I just like those little hexagon shapes. You know, I'm seduced easily by shapes. Okay, so then in the other side of this cupboard is the other um, three drawer and cotton balls on top. So this is purely Bunny Sisters and Rose Girls. Bunny Sisters is one of my favorite vendors. I've just done a video on that, so I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail here. But I have many different scents from them, blenders in the fish shapes, and absolutely love this wax. I get excellent throw, um, beautiful. I will say two of my favorite scents, Green Thumb in the back, which is a uh, rose, strawberry, and tomato vine blend that I love. And then her grape. Did I know I loved grape? So we have grape soda and grape Kool-Aid. And it's just like Welsh's grape juice. Like you put your head in a big vat of that. It's so juicy and realistic and delicious. Not fake at all. Now brace yourself because these Rose Girls drawers. Okay, I have a lot of Rose Girls. The mini melters. So this whole drawer is mini melters. I, you know, you name it, I probably got it. I love her wax. Acai berry, raspberry, coconut, and orange creamsicle. I'm not going to read all these, okay? I have numerous mini melters, excellent throw, beautiful scents. Her mints are unparalleled, just gorgeous. Down here, more. So I have some blenders over here and like Rice Krispie Treats, Marshmallow Smoothie, um, all the different mints, and then this whole row is these little chunk muffins, so pistachio frosting, I have bubble gum, banana, um, in the back is um, blackberry cream puffs that, you know, we just went crazy waiting to get those, <laughs> so, Susan Fitzpatrick, so um, love Rose Girls, okay, so I'm not going to read all those to you, but needless to say, I am enjoying those, and I can't get this back in here, and so you know, that's it for the bulk wax, right? I mean, for the bulk of my wax. Now, I do have a whole drawer of holiday, so let me bring you over here. This whole drawer is holiday wax, okay? So, some of this I probably bought on sale um, in January. So, there's a number of different things here. There are some from Nana Makes Sense that I actually bought recently. Um, I have Rose Girls Pine in the background. I have Hayden Row Candy Cake Cupcakes. There's some Scentsy holiday scents here. Ava's um, Cranberry Apple Sweet Potato Pie. Um, now this whole row here is um, Homeworks Melts, okay? So I don't know if you can see that. I, I put them in these little bags. They came in sort of clamshell-ish, and I don't care for those, so I've rebagged them and put them in these, um, the good kind of bags. So Autumn Days, Autumn Bonfire, Candy Cane Kisses. Um, what is this one? Oh, Winter Birch. I love that so much. Ramona is the one who taught me about that. Some Yankee Candle Melts. I really like these, Balsam and Cedar. Here is a Bunny Sisters Pumpkin Spice Latte Cake. Um, Hayden Row Christmas Sweater, which is, I love this, Citrus Winter Apple. Uh, vanilla Bean Noel, Violet, and Warm Cotton. This is the most comforting, beautiful scent. And then a bunch of pumpkin scents from um, Better Homes and Gardens and Sensationals. And this, which is my guilty pleasure, um, Sugar Pumpkin Cronut. This is everything I say I don't like. It's really buttery, <clears throat> cinnamony, so delicious. Okay, and then over here, a little bit more. This whole thing is gifts. That people have given me okay so um, look at this loaf that my friend Valerie out in Arizona made it's Palo Santo and other scents I mean so talented beautiful honestly her, her wax is gorgeous this is from my friend Deborah out in Oregon um, from Cheryl's Cheryl's website is very hard for me to negotiate because she has like 1900 cents but the woman's wax is amazing so a number of lush dupes here lord of misrule um, twilight and um, american cream and rose jam so this is really good um, i have uh, empire alchemy waffles a gift from my friend mag i have um, some vintage chic from my friend michelle 
um, very sweet, generous friends who have given me all this. Um, the melted duck, the melting duck. This is good wax too. I have gifts here from Ramona, who I believe gave me this one from Glitterati, from um, Sugar and Spice. So, you know, thank you all because I have all these gorgeous gifts. So I try and go through those um, pretty quickly and I meter them in between the others. And here I have one box of samples. And I'm proud of that because I used to have two big vats of samples. Honestly, these huge um, glass canisters filled with samples. And I have taken samples with me when I travel and try to get through them. So this isn't too bad now, right? Um, you know, the usual stuff. So we have things from Candle from the Keeping Room, um, the Bunny Sisters, Old Primitive Treasures, and so on. So that is it, right? I mean, that's not, not as bad as it used to be. Now, when you see all the holiday, I mean, I will go through all that because that's probably my favorite um, time of year is the holiday scents. I love um, the pine and the cranberry, eggnog, pumpkin. I mean, really from Halloween through Christmas, I am very happy because I love all of those. So that's it. That is all the wax I have in the world. And um, I'm happy to share that with you. And again, my goal is to slow down. Um, I have slowed my purchasing down a bit, although it may not seem that way. But the orders on the whole have been smaller. And I want to slow down and enjoy my wax because there's all this beautiful wax. And I want to use it up within a year. That is my goal, you know, to buy and not have it longer than that so that it doesn't fade and that I have time to just relax and enjoy it and not feel like I'm on a mission as I have this last say, six months or so where I hit way too much and needed to power through it, you know, so that it wouldn't get old. So now I'm going to try and relax a little bit, enjoy it, not use as many melters, not change them out so frequently. And um, hopefully I can do that. You know, it, it sounds good now. You know, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see if I can really do that and if I can slow my roll a little bit. So that's it. Thank you so very much for watching. Um, I hope you all have a safe and blessed 4th of July weekend with your families. Please remember to wear your masks. We aren't through this COVID thing yet. And um, be safe, be happy, be well. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye for now.